In this video, I'm going to share with you a very beginner ballet center. So please enjoy and stay tuned. subscribers thank you guys um, I'll probably in the next video try to mention all of you but I'm so happy and honored that you are choosing my channel for part of your ballet journey my mission with this channel is to support your journey by providing you tutorials how to's and sharing my own journey with you as an adult ballet dancer if you like this kind of content please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you get notified when I share more videos. This is going to be the third ballet video that I bring you for this specific purpose to do ballet class at home. And this video is a beginner center class, which includes some jumps, includes some turns, and an adagio combination. So please enjoy, do it as many times as you like, and stay tuned because I am posting a lot of videos and working on a lot of different combinations for you guys so you don't get bored. Welcome again, this time to the center. We are going to be filming this part of the class from the back as if the camera is you, as a student. We figured that this way it would be for, easier for you to follow along the exercises instead of if you were watching it from a spectator point of view. So keep that in mind. I'm gonna create combinations that are super simple and basic. Should be a great stepping stone for you to start learning choreography. The first part of the center is called Adagio. It's a type of dancing that is slow, romantic, but also very hard because there is a lot of muscle work involved, there's balances and just because it's slow doesn't mean that it's easy. Usually the adagio in the center is somewhat a representation of the exercises we did at the bar, but put together in a way that it looks like a dance. So for the adagio for today, it's going to be very simple. I'm going to demonstrate first and then we will do it all together. We are going to start from fifth position or if fifth position is really hard for you, you can choose third instead. Five, six, seven, eight, tandem forward. Now you will then create in forward and transfer the weight. This is called a tangle. Bring it back. Now you go to the side, then you create here and bring it back. Now close with the right foot in the back. Again, turn the back. Go to the forward position for your tanglier and close and slowly rise. Hold, passe, and get ready to do it on the left. Turn do tanglier to the arm up to the side with the arm of the leg that's going with you to the back and hold Passe and finish also for this simple introduction to Adagio we will be face in front the entire time for the most part in class the adagio will face to a corner and move about, giving different angles of the dancer to the audience. But we won't do that just yet. We're just going to stay face in front. Okay, ready?
you enjoyed your adagio, now it's time to get your heart rate up. So the next thing, you will always see this in every ballet class, is jumps in the center that are done in a very simple sequence for the purpose of warming up your jump muscles for other more complex jumps. So the warm up combination goes like this. You start in first position, facing out the mirror, then plie, four times, jump up. Then open two seconds, two, three, four. From here, watch, don't get confused here. Right foot in front to fifth position, and three more jumps. From here, send the right foot to the back and do four more jump, uh, three more jumps. Two, and so four total. Now, here is the part where people tend to get confused at first. You are going to change your left and right foot being in the front. So, it looks like this. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Let's do four. And on the second count of four, we're going to add the arms. So it looks like this. Okay. So let's all do it together. Real quick, before we start the jumps, I want to tell you what exactly is the goal of these jumps. Like I said before, it's to warm up your muscles. But what should happen is, as you go up, you must aim to perfectly point your feet up in the air and also land the same way. So the idea is to go straight up and point the feet as much as you can. Another important thing is to not let anything be out of control when you land. What I mean by that is this. Any upper body movement, okay? So remember that as you change positions, you still want to point the feet and bring them back in so just like in a tandu or a degage, you're supposed to touch the floor with the tips of your toes first. Same thing for these jumps. Okay, ready? you guys one simple jump that has been part of ballet since pretty much the beginning. This one is named after one of my favorite animals, the cats. This jump is called Pas de Chat. In this jump, okay, I'm going to demonstrate it real quick and then I will deconstruct. This is what happens. You are jumping from usually fifth position, one leg goes up and it's bent, and the other one follows it. So, you jump from fifth position, and you go back to fifth position. And usually, you can have the same foot in the front, or it could change, depending on the choreography. So, I'm gonna teach you guys this jump today. We're gonna to practice it real quick by itself. And then, keep it in mind, for the combination that we're going to do at the very end of the class, where we'll bring everything together and you will be able to feel and actually be dancing just after one class. So we are going to do four pas de chat to the right and four to the left. Very simple. Your arms will be, your right arm will stay here, your left arm will be slightly lowered at your side. Imagine like if you had a tutu, you would pretty much be touching it. We will go five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, 
three and four. And then we will just change arms and go one, two, three and four. For this particular combination, I'm changing feet. So start with my right foot forward. And as I do my first body chop, I change, put my right foot in the back and keep it there for the next three. And then I'm, this way I'm ready to go left. So it's a pretty simple jump. It still requires you to keep your upper body perfectly straight and aligned and be light on your feet. So practice it, and then we will include it in the combination. So now it's time to learn some very traditional, very foundational ballet steps that we are going to incorporate in a short combination that is going to be your homework to learn. So the first one of these steps is called balancing. Think of it as a wall step. We will start with our right leg back in this position called B plus, which is the position traditionally for belly dancers to start a combination in, or even as you're waiting in the wings or on the stage. Your right knee is touching the inside of your left knee. So both insides of knees are touching and your foot is pointed and turned out. So the balance is, you're gonna extend your right foot out and then close your left foot behind. Okay, but then there's a little step. So it looks like this. So basically this is what you're doing. Once you're down, you go up a little bit and back. In our combination, we're gonna do one to the right and one to the left. So it's gonna look like this. One and two. And from here, you must learn the step because the step is everywhere in every choreography. In a lot of combinations, this is the most important transitional step. It's called pas de bourre, which means the step of a little drunken lady. <laughs> Why did they name it this? I do not know, crazy French people. So, it looks like this. It's really actually simple, but if you do it fast, it looks a little bit complex, but it's really not. So I'm gonna show it real quick. Now, all that was, if you do it slow, it was, this is called tombe. It's basically a lunge forward. Your upper body is still upright, okay? Then you are going to go up to releve in fifth position with your left foot back, open to second, and close with your left foot front. That's it. It's four little things. Lunge. Go up, open, and switch feet. So, moving on, building on the combination. Balance, balance, tombe, on the blue ray. From here, you're going to go up and releve, two, two, and then turn. That's called sutunu. Slide your leg forward, lift your leg in the back, and then going through the forward position, time to close. Remember that padasha? As you bring your arm down, execute the padasha. You're ready to repeat the combination, starting left. Balance, balance, to big, padre, susu, and sutinu. Let's try it with some music.
the next part of ballet class in the center is usually has to do with turns. Now, turns are a huge part of ballet. They can go from fairly simple to very complex. There is, here is a big important thing that you need to remember. You must brace your abs in order to turn. Basically, it means pulling your abdominal muscles towards your spine and maintaining pretty much all the muscles in your core contracted as you engage in the turn. If you don't do that, I guarantee you, you won't be able to execute the turn correctly. The other huge, super huge concept is called spotting. I briefly mentioned this also at the bar, but now I'm going to go ahead and explain it as it relates to turns. So to spot means to concentrate where you are looking onto a very small area. For example, as we practice our turns here today, I am going to spot on the little tiny red dot that is on the TV right above the mirror. It's very small and it's always going to stay in the same place. So it's going to serve me for what I'm doing. So basically, as you turn, you're going to look at your spot and you're going to initiate your turn, keep your head still looking at your spot and then flip your head around as fast as you can back to that spot. It sounds a little weird if you're not familiar with it, but as you practice, you will see that it will not only keep you from getting dizzy, it will help you execute the turn. So we are going to, there's two basic types of pirouettes and we're gonna practice both of them. We're gonna start from fifth position with our right foot forward. Preparation, our right leg will be straight, our left leg will be bent in plie. We're going to prepare for our turn. And as we do this, we're going to brace the abs. Don't turn this first time. Then, if you are doing this for the first time, you're just going to practice quarter turns. You're going to look to your left, spot something there, and then bring your leg up to passe, and down. Turn and spot. And now let's go back to the starting position. Find your spot. Make sure your shoulders are square as well. Last one. This time, the next process in this, and you do not need to do this if this is your first time ever, just do another round of quarter turns. If you feel a little bit more confident, do a half turn and another half turn. Then, once you're ready, spot and execute a full turn, coming back to the same position. Close, and we'll repeat with the other leg. After we finish, we are going to do a different kind of pirouette. So this first pirouette that we will practice is called on the dawn pirouette. The next one is called on the orbs. In the first pirouette, our leg went up, open and then close in passe. For the second kind, our leg is gonna go straight up to passe and we are going to go in the opposite direction. So we will repeat the same process for this type of pirouette. One leg first, quarter turns, half turns, and a full turn. As you progress through these exercises, you will be able to eliminate the quarter turns and eventually eliminate the half turns and just start working on full single turns and eventually into a double turn. Let's try it.
my videos center on helping adult dancers that are either beginning or returning to ballet to feel confident and have tons of resources to go on and on their adult ballet journey. So if this is the kind of content that you would like to see, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, so you know when I post a new video, which these days with what's going on is quite often. And also leave me a comment. And if you like this video or any other of my videos, please make sure to give it a like and share it with whoever you think will also get value from it.